The right to reproductive freedom is, in a sense, grounded in our most fundamental right, which is the right that separates us from slaves, the right to be the exclusive owners of our own body. And that is, in a sense, the basic bedrock, the most fundamental property right on which a woman's right to have exclusive control over her reproductive life rests. Now, we have to keep in mind that having the right to abortion does not mean that a woman is able to exercise that right in conditions that she has chosen. And there are two kinds of broad conditions, which I'm, I'm afraid are the conditions under which today women find themselves, where on the one hand, they find themselves with unwanted pregnancies and then have to face the issue, are they going to have an abortion or not? Well, why should a woman have to deal with unwanted pregnancies? We can remove that situation by ensuring that every woman has free access to birth control and day after pills as part of a health care that serves everyone where health care is treated as a right through a single payer system that unlike Medicare for all has no co-pays and no deductibles because as you know people who have Medicare I'm on Medicare people who are on Medicaid they can't afford to use it because there are substantial co-pays and deductibles and it doesn't cover everything but if we have a health care system that guarantees every woman free access to contraceptives and day after pills unwanted pregnancies will almost be removed as an issue. But then there's the other situation, the unwanted situation in which a woman faces the choice of what to do with the pregnancy they, they have, in this case, has cho have chosen. A woman may want to have a child, but she's worried that she doesn't have the economic resources to be able to bring it up. And, that, and because of that situation, which she does not want, She's forced to make a choice. And that choice, if it be to have an abortion, is not truly free. Because it's under constraints that she would not have willed if she had the choice. Well, we need to remove that. How do we remove it? We have to guarantee every woman, as well as every person, economic independence and security. First and foremost, by a federal job guarantee. Fair wages, employee empowerment. Okay. Secondly, we, we have to ensure that women don't have to worry about having children interrupt their career advancement or their political advancement. Well, we have to have these measures that balance family and work by requiring the paid family leave in the ways I've mentioned. We also have to have free daycare, free elder care, childhood allowances so that every woman can afford to have the children she wants. Well, if that's the case, if we really uphold true reproductive freedom, where a woman is not stuck in a situation of unwanted pregnancy because she lacks the medical resources she needs, or a situation where she's pregnant but worries about not being able to afford the children, we can remove that.